More details are emerging now in that Luzerne County homicide investigation. Police say 60-year-old Patricia Watkins was beaten to death inside her Sugar Notch home. They say that uh, she was killed by this man, her 39-year-old son, Eric Watkins. Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy joins us live in Sugar Notch tonight with the latest on this investigation. Julie? Nick Candace, good evening. Police say that Eric Watkins had just come to stay at this residence behind me with his mother and his brother just Friday night. On Saturday, Patricia Watkins had taken Eric to a methadone clinic, and then later he told police that he smoked some marijuana before falling asleep. He then told police that he woke up hearing voices and that a higher power had told him to attack his mother. It's really hard to leave. I just, I'm sorry. I just, I just can't, I just can't fathom it. I really can't. I don't understand why something like this would happen and at this time of year, which is terrible. Neighbors Monday are still in shock after the brutal death of their neighbor, 60 year old Patricia Watkins. Patricia was found dead in her Sugar Notch home at the 300 block of Maffitt Street early Sunday morning. Police say Patricia's son, 39 year old Eric Watkins, beat her to death. According to the police affidavit, Patricia's other son, Jeremy Broadbeck, said he heard a loud bang downstairs early Sunday morning. When he went to check it out, Eric was on top of their mother on the couch, beating her face. Broadbeck pulled Eric from his mother, and they both tried to calm him down. Broadback told police the fighting continued throughout the house and into the bathroom. That's when he was able to escape through a window and call for help. Broadback did not wish to talk to Eyewitness News on Monday. According to the criminal complaint, when Pennsylvania State Police knocked at the home, Eric Watkins said, I know who you are and I know what you want. Police said Watkins then screamed, she is dead. My mom is dead. I killed her. Police found Patricia's body in a bathtub located in the bathroom on the first floor of the home. Police say her face was so severely injured, her face was barely recognizable. According to court papers, Eric Watkins said he blacked out but remembers punching and beating his mother. Neighbors tell us this is a close-knit neighborhood up on the hill and it's always been quiet until this weekend. Yes, this actually neighborhood is very quiet, Theos. It's very shocking that this happened, Theos. It's not normally. We're a very good town. It's so sad. I just can't believe it happened to her. Now, Eric Watkins has been charged with criminal homicide. He is in jail without bail. Coming up at Eyewitness News at 6, we'll hear more from neighbors. Nick Candace, they say that Patricia was a wonderful neighbor to them. Reporting live in Sugar Notch, Julie Dunphy, Eyewitness News.